So now you're prepared and you've had your breakfast. So now it's time to go to school. Come on, let's go to school. Going to school. Every child needs to go to school to study various subjects, to acquire knowledge and to learn discipline. Gate. A gate symbolizes protection. Children would not run away from the school when the gate is locked. School bag. Every child carries a school bag. A school bag contains notebooks, textbooks and stationeries that the child uses in the school. School bus. A school bus is a mode of transport that picks up the students from home to school and drops them back at home after school hours. Lunch basket. Almost every student carries a lunch basket that generally consists of a lunch box, a water bottle, a snack box and a towel. Watchman. A watchman stands at the school gate and keeps a watch over the school properties and at times helps the students to cross the road too. Cycle rickshaw. A cycle rickshaw is a three-wheeled vehicle that can carry a maximum of three members. Very often this is the mode of transport for the students to go to school and to be dropped after school hours. Zebra crossing Zebra crossing is the area in which we need to cross the road. It is usually seen near schools. Speed breakers a speed breaker is a bump on the road that makes you slow down your vehicle and control the speed. They are often found near school zones. Water bottle Water bottles are handy containers that are used to store water, often used by school students. Sweeper. A sweeper ensures the cleanliness of a school, college or any organization. The sweeper generally uses a broom to clean the floor and a brush to wipe the floor with the cleansing liquid. Driver. The driver drives the car. You must have seen the driver drive your school bus. Ground. We have a ground at the school. We love playing different games on the school ground. Pune. A pune is a person working at the school. Pune helps kids and teachers too. The pune makes our school run smoothly flag post. We wave our national flag on the flag post. On every Independence Day or Republic Day, we salute our flag in the school ceremony. Map. Maps are the pictures showing us positions of different places around us. You must have seen a world map or map of India or even a city map in the school. I know you all are very brilliant kids. You all study hard, you learn well. But I want to know, how do you do your lessons?
Lesson time. Every child must spend time to study and review the lessons that are taught at school. Pencil. A pencil is generally used to write contents and draw pictures on a paper, notebook or a chart. Desk. A desk is a small table-like furniture with some space to keep the books and stationeries. A desk is comfortable while studying and doing homeworks. Globe. A globe helps you to find a geographical location. It is a vital material for students to learn various locations of the world. Duster. A teacher uses the duster to wipe the blackboard or a whiteboard. Chalk. A chalk is made of limestone and is used to write on a blackboard or whiteboard. Blackboard A blackboard is a teaching aid on which the teacher writes contents or draws pictures with a chalk to enable the students to understand the subjects. Teacher a teacher is a person who is academically qualified to teach different subjects and transfer the knowledge to the students. Student A child who attends the school to learn the different subjects, moral and discipline is called a student. Number Chart a chart in which numerals are depicted is called a number chart. Tutors use this chart to teach the number system to the students. Notebook A notebook is a collection of papers bounded together by a cardboard and is used for writing purposes. Pen. We use a pen to write on paper. We use many types of pens for our studies. Divider. Divider is an instrument in our instruments box which has two pointed ends. It is used to measure distance on paper. Protractor. It is an instrument used to measure an angle. Compass. It is another instrument in our box used for drawing circles. It has one pointed end and on the other end we attach a pencil. Eraser We use an eraser to wipe the impressions made by a pencil or pen. Ok ok, now I know you are getting bored. You have studied a lot and now it's play time. Come on, let's play some indoor games. Indoor Playtime Every child should spend some time playing indoor games which is fun and it also improves creativity, thinking skills and analytical skills. Color Tube Color tubes contain different colors that are used for painting pictures. A palette is a container that holds the paints taken from the color tubes to be used for painting pictures. Painting brush Painting brush is a brush 
that takes paint from the palette to paint the required pictures. Carom Board Carom Board is an indoor game where you strike the wooden coins to the pockets using a striker. It helps develop great concentration skills. Carom Board Coins Carom Board Coins are used to play carom board game. There are 9 white coins, 9 black coins, a red coin and a striker that are needed to play the game. Chess Board A board that is required to play the most intelligent game, chess. This is aimed at capturing the king of the game. Chess Coins Chess coins are the small icons like soldiers, knights, elephants, horses, king and the queen that are required to play the game. Puzzle Board A game that enables you to tackle and solve complex puzzles and situations. Puzzle Cards Puzzle Cards are the cards that are used in puzzle games which improve your analytical problem solving ability. A puzzle card usually contains a puzzle on one side and the answer on the other side. Dice A game that contains two cubes to be thrown together to achieve the required combinations and it enables the mathematical skills. Video Game We all love playing different video games. Video games have its own screen or it is attached to our television. Playing Cards There are 52 playing cards in a pack of cards. Yo-Yo A yo-yo is a small toy. It has a rope attached to a plastic donut shaped toy. Kids love playing the yo-yo. Model Car Kids love collecting different model cars. Model cars are made exactly similar to a real car but smaller in scale. Marbles It is the traditional Indian game. Marbles are made of glass or clay. Playing with marbles is a good exercise for your fingers. Okay, okay, enough of indoor games. Now, let's go outside and play some outdoor games. This way, you'll get some exercise. So, come on, let's play some exciting outdoor games. Outdoor Playtime Outdoor playtime is necessary for everyone. It involves a lot of fun and exercise and enables you to breathe fresh air, burn the calories and enhance the stamina. Football Football is a big ball that is used to play a game named football where the players use their legs to hit the ball to the goal. Skipping rope A skipping rope is a thick rope with a holder on the edges of the rope and it helps you in skipping exercises and games. Bicycle A bicycle is a vehicle that has two wheels. You pedal the bicycle to make it move.
swing. You generally see swings in parks and in theme parks. Every child loves to sit on a swing and play. Cap A cap is usually worn on your head to protect your head from the direct heat of the sun. Sometimes they also come as a part of a uniform. Whistle A whistle is a small instrument that is blown from your mouth and it produces a shriek sound, usually used to start or stop a game. Bat You use the bat to hit the ball in a game. Bats are of different shapes and sizes as per the game rules. Cricket ball A ball that is made from the core of a cork and is used to play cricket. Tennis ball A tennis ball is a soft ball that is used to play tennis. It is generally fluorescent green in color. Stumps While playing cricket, stumps are a must. Batsmen are supposed to guard the stumps. Racket Different types of rackets are used in different games like badminton, tennis, etc. Net In many games, there are two teams. The net is used as a dividing line for the teams. We use a net in table tennis, badminton, lawn tennis, etc. Shuttle A shuttle is used in badminton. Feathers of birds are used in a shuttle. Sports shoes Sports shoes are a must while we play any outdoor game. We may get hurt on the ground and our shoes are the best protection for our feet. <laughs>